That's everything. It's, it's growing. And this is an opportunity to capture some and to uh, uh, really benefit from some of the uh, opportunities that are coming in so that it does benefit the community, so that you are uh, uh, bringing more opportunities in. I, I, for the life of me, I can't see why you would build a, a hotel down here. But, I mean, that's just, it's There's probably no highest uh, call on that. I mean, I, I don't know, they must have done a study or something, right? To I, see that it would benefit. No, it, it, it's just uh, why are all the hotels not here? Right. I, I mean, this. This community, it seems to me, would want to have a high. I would say in terms of low-rise hotel, that would decrease your visibility from the expressway. And some hotels might want that visibility of building services of billboard, just like a well, I'm an old guy called the Pullman Bank, <laughs> whatever, what, right. US, U.S. Bank. That uh, has always been a landmark for me coming down to <laughs> Bishop Ford. So if we have, if if we were allowed to do a high rise or something like that, that would have visibility for this whole campus because a lot of people don't even know this is here. Right. This, this whole golf. I mean, I, I drove through here. This is my second and third time. I'm just, I'm still always amazed at what has transpired. And it's a good thing. We need to build off of that. But one of the things to a hotel attracts more businesses, and there's not a hotel right. in this area. I think the closest one is in High Park before you go out. And that allows people, especially now that Pullman's been designated as a National Historic Site, hmm. the goal is to get people to come to the National Historic Site and to stay in this area. Because if they stay in this area, as opposed to going downtown, then they spend money in this area. They spend money in this area, and it brings and increases the like incubator. For Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yeah, going back to the employment aspects, the, the jobs that you have listed here now are after the fact, after construction jobs, where the real jobs that would benefit communities exist during the construction phase and outside of community benefits. Community. Are you going to build anything? When I say you, I guess whoever finishes this process. Are you going to build anything into the RFP that guarantee minority participation? in these construction and trade jobs, which uh, historically they have been blocked from over the years of construction in their community? Yes, the answer is yes. Uh, the, that is uh, uh, guidelines that we already have in all of our contracts that we do uh, with uh, minority and women. But uh, sometimes that, that, that falls by the wayside because of the current practice of the Chicago trade <laughs> that you have to go through the hall to get hired. If you're not already a tradesman and if you're an apprentice, uh, sometimes you're left totally out of the picture. So mm. there needs to be some kind of tweak in that. And are you willing to have that kind of discussion with me? I'm certainly willing to have the discussion, absolutely. absolutely. But then to piggyback on that, the percentage in terms of what you're talking about, MBE and WBE, would that come from a major? Uh, corporation, construction company, then, then you'll assess that that's the percentage that you've uh, acquired in terms of that number, or are you going to then hire, let's say, a power or U Ujama to be a part of that conversation? Right. I can't say that who we would hire. What I say is, to your point on trying to, uh, with the assurances, so not beyond the, the numbers and the percentage-wise, on how it can be so that people aren't getting around and saying, well, there are not these folks that are in this area, therefore we try to meet the goals, but we can't. So those are discussions that would have to go on when we're closer to putting out a contract for that. But I think that they're very wise to have in right now as we put in the RP, stressing the importance of those aspects of it. And so because the RP is just going to get back proposals. And then even when a proposal is selected at that point in time, all that means is you're allowed to enter into, or we're going to enter into negotiations. Right, and then we start getting into a little bit more. So that's a little bit further down, but adding that in to the RFP at this point in time lets everyone know that this is where we're going to be as we move forward. And you won't commit to a community benefits agreement at this point because we're saying right now today. But will you commit to today taking the voices of the community that will say which MBE, uh, MBE or WBE that they would prefer in yep. terms of that RFP. That is the only reason we're doing this even today. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Is there going to be an environmental impact yep. uh, deal on this? Uh, I mean, like, I understand that uh, Trump Tower used a lot of water from the Chicago River. 
and you're going to have a hotel here. Are they going to be drawing water from here? You know, it's a right. There's going to be. Well, a, yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, it's uh, right. There will be an environmental impact. And, and, and then there's the marine study, too. Me. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, I this is really exciting. This uh, um, uh, my perspective is from the athletic side, from the rowing side. Uh, and so I know right away that this is going to be a very beautiful setup. When a hotel comes and there's green space, I know it's going to be clean and it's going to look beautiful. But it's going to be an asset to the community, I think, just for recreational purposes. And then for collegiate rowing, for adults, I'm biased to rowing only. But I know that there are groups that will come, stay in this area, have a great time, will leave, will be very happy about their experience. Uh, and there'll be a good presence here for the weekend. Come Monday morning, everyone's gone, and it's like, you know, think they were never here. Huh. And that's possible often to generate revenue, but not every day where there's like lines to great America. Hmm. This is going to be, you know, events and then local people using the space. So to me, it's exciting. And so I'm, um, I'd like to help put together a list of local groups you, who would be uh, able to benefit from it because. Um, is unique access that people don't have down here. So that leads directly into this. What would you like to see around access to the site? So um, thoughts, comments. Again, we can stay here and do this uh, as a group. We can break out, but those are questions. I know that obviously the, the bike path um, is very, very important. Uh, so I think that that will be in the RFP, even though that a hotel. Uh, we're not necessarily expecting someone who comes in and maybe develops a hotel is going to build a bike path, but they should know that we want a bike path incorporated into the footprint uh, that's going on and around there, especially as it comes across, down, and then out so that we can connect um, Pullman to... Uh, Will there be a bike path connecting the 10th Ward, the southeast side, to these amenities? Yeah, if you put a bike path across, it's coming right into the 10th floor, so yes. No, from within the 10th floor will there be a bike path. We live on the south east side of Calumet, Lake Calumet. Will there be a connection for our youth and for our members and our residents to come to these amenities? Do you, is there a bike path for you to get to Big Marsh? Will there be one? I, I'm dealing with my property, so if you're asking if there's going to be a bike path somewhere else in the 10th ward, no, I, 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 you're, you're accommodating Pullman, no doubt. I'm not accommodating Pullman. What I'm doing is accommodating the region. They want to connect Pullman to the 10th Ward. They want to connect the 10th Ward to Pullman. I mean, however you want to look at it. So the question is, this is my property. This is my Ballywick. My Ballywick is 103rd to 130th, the Bishop Ford to Stony Island. Absolutely 100% in the 10th Ward. This is the 9th Ward on this side. I have been approached and they said that they want to connect people, not the ninth Ward, but people to Big March, this wonderful amenity here in the 10th Ward, so that people can enjoy that. I know that they're repaving or have repaved Stony Island so that they can put bike lanes up there. So your question is, am I going to create a bike path that goes beyond this bike path that goes uh, over uh, my property? Uh, I'm not doing anything outside of my property. Okay, so, so. I, we're asking if we would connect the 10th Ward to your amenities on the 4th. The answer would, is yes, because the bike path comes into the 10th Ward, right? So if the bike path is right here, is, uh, so I don't, I, uh, in which way, I guess, or where? Maybe that's what I should talk about. We, at this point in time, we cannot get to Big Marsh, nor can we get to your new amenities from, so, yeah. from the southeast side. We cannot on a bike path. No such thing exists. Okay. We're asking that that be accommodated. If we can accommodate Pullman coming into, going through your property and accommodating Big Marsh as well as your amenities, we're asking, can you not accommodate our communities to get to your amenities? How and where would that accommodation that would be? be? the challenge. Because the accommodation that you're talking about starts right here at my property and ends right here at my property. So just tell me where and we'll see what we can do. But okay. with the footprint, I mean, okay. like you said, we're 100% in the 10th Ward, so. Wait, I have to step out for a second. If I recall from our previous meetings that we've all had, there was a proposed bike path that was going on in uh, 
shoreline south of the golf course that was proposed by Active Transit. And is that still proposed or in effect? That is the one that we're contemplating right now, correct? Okay. And is Peggy, are you aware of that path? No. Uh, would you like to show the path or me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's Big Marsh. Mm -hmm. As I understand from our previous discussions, Clayton and the active transit, a bike path may go along this shoreline. Mm -hmm. Not all the way. Not all the way. Connect here. Okay. Come out through here. So this is basically the path that leads to where the marina or the boathouse would be. We would come here, we come out into the water, we parallel down and probably connect back to land in this area right here and then straight across. Is that CDF still proposed to go into one of the fingers? I hope so, but no, not, not right now. Right now, uh, it's, it's not proposed to be on uh, Port Proctor. But it would still be further south if we did that. What was proposed were, were these two things right here. And that um, would be this area. The bike path would be up here further north. Yes, sir. Per your uh, previous comment about uh, designing on, you know, on your property, are there any kind of aspects that the RFP is going to address that are outside of the, the boundaries of what is your property in terms of connections or like broader picture kind of uh, studies? Broader picture probably studies. Like uh, it is not contemplated necessarily. I mean, if this is something that can work out, then the bike path would be part of the response. Mm -hmm. But the bike path should be noted in the response because that's going to be in the area. In terms of um, improvements or studies that are already ongoing, the RFP should address those, but not basically create new uh, planning you know, work outside of the project boundary. Right, not necessarily, unless it's beneficial. I mean, if it makes it easier to incorporate a bike path in the footprint of the hotel mm -hmm. at that point in time. Sure understandable and and then we start adding in the other partners that are currently working or we're trying to work with like active alliance right 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 just have one last thing just so uh, what's uh what's the health of the lake is the lake is it kind of a dead lake where there is no life in it now no, there's, or? there's a lot of life in it. oh there is yes, oh okay anyone else? yes sir yes uh, if you could give us a definition of what family recreation is, that you mentioned a little bit earlier. And then it seems like, the, and we've had a number of meetings before uh, in the past, so uh, I'm not quite sure where you're at right now as far as public access, because I know you've made some statements that about public access, and then recently I saw you quoted that uh, not public access. So I know public the, access. Where was the quoted on not public access? Well, I, I've heard you. I've, I've heard you talk. What have I said that yeah, we're not going to do public well, access? Your, this is the whole thing that we're doing right here. This yeah. creates public access. When have I ever said okay. no public access? I, I'm not to debate you. I'm just wondering if your definition of public access is people using a hotel or if, okay. if there's going to be public access to people like uh, our friend over there, the, the rower, uh, bird watchers, uh, hikers, people that live in the surrounding communities, <coughs> like many of us that are here today. I mean, the first step with that right there is the bike path that creates public access. <laughs> That's the second step, mm -hmm. and walkers and pedestrians, and anyone who wants to walk across the lake. So how is that not public access? Well, that's what when we do the boathouse, the people come in and row, how is that not public access? Yeah. You want a definition of family recreation, is it a place you can bring your family? So, you know, I, I can't tell you that family recreation equals this. What I can tell you is that's what we're looking at ultimately right here. What the hotel and the boathouse does is it provides access, open access to this area, which is what you've been telling me since the first day that I come in. Right, so right. that's what we're working on. That's why we're having this conversation about the RFP. What should be included in there? So to say that I've said that there's not going to be public access is a mischaracterization of anything I've said because I've never said that. So what we're doing here is trying to provide an opportunity for people to say what they want for public access, for people to say right, what they that's believe, why I'm asking you to help for people to vision. say what they believe right. family recreation is. Okay. So you help me with the vision, not the other way around. That's what this is for. 
more than happy to do that. I just wanted to get a clear idea of what your vision of people uh, are. The vision of people drive, drive is open in, areas uh, so that people question. can ride their bikes, so that people can come out here and walk, so that people can come out here and enjoy it. You don't have to buy or stay in a room to enjoy the area if we have open areas for people to come in. That's, that's what we're hoping to hear from you. Yes, sir. Just a quick question on Active Alliance. I think you said it was earlier. So they're going to have to also participate in the RFP. They don't have a lot on the construction of the bike path. They are working on ways that we can find grant funding to um, go through the, the, the concept and the engineering and then the construction of it right there. So we have partnered with them to try to find uh, the funding so that we can continue uh, moving forward to get that connection. Um, there are just different visions of what could be, what should be. You know, there, there are many things that we can do along the water as far as access, bike path, pedestrians. You know, you can do the outcrops where people can sit out there and look at uh, 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 some of the barges or ships that are coming in or look back towards the uh, square marsh. Uh, in, in the golf course, um, we're looking at bike paths and access in and around uh, the golf course and then possibly uh, the hotel uh, being a part of it. Um, I think we started to talk about some of the recre recreational opportunities. I'm not sure if anyone else has any other comments on what they would like to see as far as recreational opportunities at the site. Yes, sir. Somebody was talking about, uh, mentioned bird watching and other sort of benefits that the public would receive from uh, being able to visit this site. I'm wondering if there's like an environmental kind of restoration piece to this um, that you think is important in order to have those amenities be at their kind of full potential. This is definitely something that we're looking at and thinking about incorporating in whole reason with this, mm -hmm. correct. But if it, if it was something that's in the RFP, then it's kind of it's putting an emphasis on, on that. I think it could be a key piece. I absolutely agree. But are you still considering an out, outdoor music then? Yeah, uh, that, that aspect of it becomes relatively simple. If you have the, the boathouse right there, you still have some of the, uh, the area, the open land, especially if it's undeveloped. But bringing a barge in here and some of the things they do down in um, Kaskaskia or, or some of the areas where they do it, they, they have a pink barge that benefits, the concerts benefits, uh, uh, cancer research and, and survivors, uh, that's one I've been trying to get up here. I mean, that's that's easy, especially if you already have the area open and, and cordoned off correctly, uh, to have people come in uh, almost a Virginia S type, maybe not as well defined in that, as opposed to people bringing chairs, blankets, and just coming to the property, listening, and then moving. moving Dragon Boat races, it doesn't necessarily have to be crewing. Uh, like they do at the Tidal Basin in, in Washington, D.C., uh, paddle boats, uh, uh, just different opportunities to enjoy the area, and that is, uh, um, that then becomes an, uh, uh, an opportunity, or able to do it with the boathouse being there and having uh, actual physical and, and correct launch to be able to come out 